So please and take a look at this. This shows the shape of the aging population in 1970. You can see the demographic pyramid. The top is 18, 85 years old. They are quite rare. They were rare. But uh, inverse pyramid, as you as has been uh, mentioned, in particular, you can see a larger bulge of uh, female uh, aged people above uh, 85 years old. I think uh, that uh, they need uh, care and they are not healthy. Uh, according to the 1970, this kind of model will be able to support the aged people. But according to 2050, if a large number of people get ill, it is difficult to support. So the concept wise, it has to be fundamentally changed. We have a sense of a crisis. In particular, the aging is quite rapid in uh, Kanagawa uh, Prefecture. So the concept here that we would like to apply here is mibyo. I think it is a Chinese medicine term for pre-symptomatic state. Whether you are uh, ill or in health, health or not in health. I think that is an extremely important concept uh, in policy making, but from the viewpoint of each individual, whether you are in good health or a bad health, the, is there going to be a clear line between the two? That is not the case. As you can see, healthy and sick, there's going to be a gradual changes between the two. Wherever you are uh, in this uh, uh, situation, there should be daily efforts in order to bring your state of health into the healthy situation. So it is not a matter of cure, um, but you have to prevent any kind of uh, illness or sickness. There's going to be a change of the mindset. This is going to the policy makers of you, but this is a view from the person uh, in scope. So there's going to be a big change between the two. Uh, what is important to manage in Mibyo? There are three elements that we'll highlight. The first one is a diet. Diet uh, habit is extremely important. The second one is exercise. Exercise habit is also important to maintain health. The third element is social activities. This is also extremely important. The reason why it is important. In Kashiwa city, in Chiba prefecture, uh, there was a survey undertaken on the status of the elderly people because the elderly people uh, get ill uh, suddenly. The reason it was um, surveyed and the key words were frail, frail, frailty. They are frail, so they don't go out. And if they don't go, don't go out, if they are locked up in house, then they are going to get serious, uh, ill. Social interactions are extremely important for them. What is more important is that they have to feel that they are useful to society. So far as they have that kind of a sense, then they can stay healthy. That means social activities are extremely important. Our actions, our policies are to give uh, improve, improvement and to Mibio and the most advanced technology, if, for example, the gene therapy and, and AI and the others, such a most of, uh, state of the art technologies are supposed to be fused with the MIBIO management. In this way, longevity or healthy longevity uh, can be ensured. Probably that would also bring in uh, new industries. That is the concept of new healthcare, uh, healthcare new frontier. We have uh, the study group on Mibio, and uh, there are a lot of uh, companies that are engaged in this kind of activity. We launched uh, our initiative uh, one, 10 years ago, and already 1,000 companies are involved. And with this kind of a concept, uh, we would like to build a network uh, with the rest of the world. Uh, together with the WHO, we entered into MOU. Uh, with uh, the Singapore government agency as well, and uh, different uh, med uh, medical institutions as well. Mibio Summit uh, is uh, something that we regularly hold every year. And during these uh, initiatives, uh, the consultation of WHO was done. Now, 
where we are, where people are positioned in this kind of index, uh, the kind of uh, index and to be provided. And Tokyo University and WHO took two years to come up uh, with this uh, kind of uh, Mibio index. On the left-hand side, this shows the WHO's ideas, uh, the status of the body, four areas, and whether they are going to be applied to the index. A uh, very simple app uh, is, uh, is invented in order to identify how the current state of uh, the body health is. For example, uh, you will find uh, some index if you are going to stay the current, uh, on, live on the current uh, uh, the lifestyle, then you will be able to see how it is going to deteriorate. That means it would enable them and to make a change to the lifestyle by knowing the facts. Uh, you can you own your own health and then you can ch change your lifestyle. That means each individual will be encouraged and to stay healthy. For example, one of the technologies that is applied is mimosis. The voice quality is analyzed with this technology. And by doing so, uh, it can detect the mental health and the stress. The data is being accumulated over uh, the, the early stage of uh, dementia will be identified. Those with the, uh, it is uh, going to be a gradual progression of dementia. Therefore, uh, by using this uh, mimosis, uh, the voice quality can be analyzed uh, in order uh, to detect the possibility of dementia. In fact, one of the models I would like to share with you today in Yokohama Wakabata housing complex, it is a huge complex with a population of 20,000. And there is a kind of a miracle story that I can share with you. On the, you can see the, the, red, the blue line, that is uh, the aging uh, trend, as you can see, 40, as high as 45, 47.8%. And you can see the blue dotted line, that is the nationwide average. So by far larger and higher. But if you take a look at the red lines, the lowest um, the line is 12.2%. And that re means the people requiring long-term care. But it has uh, come down from 12.5%. So with the such aging, um, but the ratio of those people requiring long-term care has declined. What is the reason behind this? And I went to the site and to do interviews uh, with the people. And then I have uh, found the following. First, active residence associations. They put in place a series of measures and the, the sport event and cultural events are being um, planned and by the community organizations. And in addition to them, multi-generational uh, interactions and such a place is provided. Anyone can come freely and to this kind of a place. And then those uh, parents uh, with the kids uh, can interact uh, with the elderly people. And those uh, old people can take care of the kids while uh, the parents uh, go shopping. This is a kind of a comprehensive uh, community, the strength of a community has encouraged and reinvigorated the elderly people at this Wakabadai housing complex. Now, we are pursuing a different kinds of uh, programs when the aging and urban planning, uh, these two elements are supposed to be combined together. Entertainment and aging can also be combined. This shows a senior, the theater group over 80, 60 years old, they are uh, uh, they they are um, the the first and to um, play in and the theater. Uh, they act uh, uh, on the stage and uh, uh, the odd uh, the there's going to be the those uh, who play on the stage uh, with the makeups uh, with the audience in place. And they are so excited after their uh, parents' performance. Uh, that would really incur, um, to uh, help uh, 
extend their longevity. So, what is the goal for us? Now, we are talking about visions. What is going to be the long term vision? A vibrant inochi or lines. And that is an important message. Vibrant inochi. That is the term that we would like and to communicate uh, as a message to the world. I um, explained about this at the UN as well. Inochi is a Japanese, uh, and it is it can be translated as life. But when it comes to vibrant in inochi, inochi is more uh, broadly embracing. The inochi means life, but well-being includes included as well. Positive spirit, the purpose in life, healthy longevity, full of laughter, good community, and environment. This inochi embraces in such concepts, and they build around diversity. This kind of uh, image represents vibrant inochi. inochi. This is the ultimate goal we would like to achieve in terms of SDGs and uh, healthcare. What is the ultimate goal for them? We are going to create, uh, it is impossible for us to create a society without any illness. We cannot create a society with no one die, dying. That is impossible. But this vibrant energy is something we are going to pursue. Uh, we would like to see a laughing faces and smiling faces on those people who will reach 100 years old. And thank you very much and for your attention.